Hello to all. Today we are going to discuss the differences between the asexual reproduction and the sexual reproduction. These differences are very important before we start the reproductive unit. Okay, so let's have a discussion that what are the key differences. Okay, so asexual reproduction and sexual reproduction. First of all, you must know that asexual reproduction is a uniparental type of reproduction. Means here there is no need of the two parents. A single parent is involved in the act of reproduction. That's why it is called as uniparental reproduction. And here in the sexual reproduction, uh, the key thing is that it is a biparental type of reproduction. Means two parents are required here. Say for one is the male parent and another is the female parent. Okay, so it is a biparental mode of reproduction. Now point number two. Now the question arises that in asexual reproduction, what is the reproductive unit, right? So the reproductive unit may be an entire organism. Sometimes it has been seen that the entire organism may act as a reproductive unit here. It may be a fragment, a reproductive unit may be a fragment which is a part of any uh, part of the body. It may be a bud or it may be a spore. So what I want to say. Here the reproductive unit may be an entire organism, may be a part or a fragment of organism, may be a spore or may be a bud. But here in the case of the sexual reproduction, the reproductive unit is a gamete. The reproductive unit is a gamete and this is very very important. The key thing right in the sexual reproduction is a gamete. Means gamete participate in reproduction. That's why the reproductive unit is gamete. Now, the question arises that asexual reproduction occur in which category of the organisms? So remember, it occurs in lower invertebrates. It occurs in lower invertebrates. It also occurs in lower chordates. And it also occurs in plants which are having simple organization. Okay. Again, I am repeating. It occurs in lower invertebrates or lower chordates. And also in plants which are having simple organization. But it has been seen that the sexual reproduction occurs in almost all types of animals. It occurs in almost all types of animals and mostly in higher plants. Again, I am repeating sexual reproduction occur in almost all types of animals and also mostly in higher plants. Now, in asexual reproduction, gametes are not at all formed. Okay, here the gametes are not formed, but in sexual reproduction, as you know very well, the reproductive unit is gametes. So definitely the gametes are always formed. So gametes are not formed in asexual reproduction. Gametes are always formed in sexual reproduction. Now, no fertilization occur. As you know very well that gametes are not formed. So uh, there will be no fusion of the male and the female gamete. And hence there is no fertilization happening here. No fertilization or I can say no syngamy occur. But here fertilization that is the fusion of the gametes or the syngamy occur. So here gametes are formed and the male gamete and the female gamete will fuse together. And that's why you can say fertilization or syngamy occur. Here no fertilization occur. Next, in the asexual reproduction only mitosis is involved. In asexual reproduction only mitosis type of division is involved. And remember this thing that mitosis is a type of division in which the the organisms, the daughter organisms which are produced are qualitatively as well as quantitatively similar to the parents. Okay, so it involves only the mitosis. While it involves both mitosis and meiosis, we know very well that we have seen that in sexual reproduction mitosis as well as meiosis occur. Now, the thing to be concentrated here is that, that the meiosis is a division which is used at the time of the gamete formation because we must know that gametes are haploid cells and these gametes which are haploid are formed because of the meiosis okay otherwise mitosis also occur but at the time of the gamete formation meiosis occur okay now as you know very well that mitosis occurs here so therefore the daughter organisms produced here are genetically identical to the parent again i am repeating the daughter organisms which are produced in asexual reproduction are genetically identical to the parent means they are the clones of the parents you have heard the word clone here the 
daughter organisms are clones of the parents because they are genetically identical. Here, the daughter organisms genetically differ from the parents. Again, I am repeating, the daughter organisms genetically differ from the parents. Why? Because the daughter organism is the product of the two parents. Okay, and definitely it will be genetically different from the parent. So, the daughter organisms produced are genetically different from the parents. Fine. Now, next, multiplication occurs rapidly. As we know very well that here mitotic division occurs. And mitotic division is a fast mode of division. So, you must know that multiplication occurs rapidly here. But if I compare with the asexual reproduction, the sexual reproduction is comparatively slow. The sexual reproduction is comparatively slow than the asexual reproduction. Fine. Now, the very important thing is that since there are no variations produced, as we know very well that the offsprings produced are genetically identical to the parent, so no variations are produced and therefore it does not contribute to the evolution of new species. Okay, it is not uh, contributing in the evolution. While here we know that there are variations produced, there are variations produced and therefore it contributes to the evolution of species because we already know that variations play a key role in evolution because in sexual reproduction variations occur and therefore because of the variation this type of the reproduction contribute in the act of evolution of the new species. So these were the nine differences between the asexual reproduction and the sexual reproduction which will help you in a better way to study the reproductive unit. In the coming time I will be uploading a lots of video regarding uh, this topic so keep watching. Thanks a lot.